Let's uh, figure this out. How to make a man chase you. 800 and some thousand views. Hmm. All right. Make him yours and creator of Love and Five Steps. Today's topic is a must watch. Seriously, if you've never watched one of my videos before, this is the one to start on. It's how to make him chase you. I'm gonna give you the five secrets to getting the highest quality of men to consistently chase you. This is awesome and it's important. Don't go away. Uh, all right, let's see what you have to say. How do I get the guy to chase me? has to be one of my all-time favorite questions to answer as a dating coach because it really gets to the core of what draws men uh, to women. Right, all these people are coaches. Oh, I'm a coach, right? Coach of what, right? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Women and why few women are able to get high quality men consistently chasing them. This first thing, this, this number one is my absolute favorite. And if you can do it, I can literally guarantee that high quality men will chase you and chase hard and you'll never have to play hard to get again. The best way to get men to chase you is to build a high quality, exciting life that men want to be a part of. That's uh... literally it. <laughs> Look. He's twitch. He's lying to you. He does. He can't say it without having this face. Oh, one minute in, and he's already shown him his spin. He's a spin doctor, right? Look, to create exciting and wonderful life that a man will be attracted to, right? What kind of advice is that? Ugh. You were hoping I'd give you a line or something, weren't you? Seriously, the more you can do this, the more you can throw those dating textbooks out the window and never have to see my face again. Please keep tuning in to see my face. If you take nothing else in from this video, take this. Men chase women whose life they want to become a part of. Any woman can... Ugh. It doesn't that seem like the obvious a man will value a woman that he wants in his life and no you can't create two lives separate lives it's one life you you become one right and not in the fleshly sense but I mean it's the uh, bond sacred bond that Either you were brainwashed to forget or um, just like the pleasure of the fleshly world and how many women you can chase. And create physical attraction and have a man want to sleep with her. But if you want a guy to chase you, you, you need something more robust and more compelling. You need a high quality life that he can be excited to become a part of. Put it this way, if you were going to date you. Okay, you're lying because no woman is gonna make you part of her life, right? She will want to keep doing what she does at her convenience. And if she ever does, you know, supposedly chase commitment, it will be on her terms, right? So. If that woman wants marriage, well, fine. It will be a man that wants to marry. If it's on terms of the single life, open relationship, or, you know, I'm with you until you're not good enough. And, you know, there are men to satisfy all these types of conditions. But ultimately, um, there it's all based on a false sense of certainty. You can be certain of all these facts or information you're gonna say they're not facts you 
Would you be excited about the prospect? If your answer is no, that's okay, but take that as a sign to take action, you know? Push your comfort zone, chase your dreams, live your passions, take six or 12 months and make that answer a yes. When you live a high quality life, men will chase you without you ever having to do anything else. Beyond that, here's some other. All right, so what's a high quality life, right? You're not gonna say what that is. You're gonna leave it up to interpretation, right? To all these confused <coughs> states of mind that are just gonna keep buying into this relativism and uh, keeping manipulators and manipulated. Other things you can do. Number two is raise your standards for love. In other words, really make him work for it. I'm not talking about sex though. This has nothing to do with sex. Have sex on the first night for all that really matters. Okay, you're gonna make him work for the love. Buying into, you know, the notion that you get to decide who receives and who does not receive love. Absurd. Oh, just proving once more that people are chasing love, right? Because they think they can dish out where their love goes. Well, you're just confusing your emotions for something that you can dish out. Yeah, you can express your emotions to the people that you choose to, but love, love shatters the barrier of individual. Okay, so you're you're just you don't know what you're talking about because a woman that would test you or put you through the ringer just so that you can or just so that she will then you know express emotions of you know gratefulness and kindness and um, caring is absurd because if she doesn't see your value to begin with and want to you know um, trust in you and follow you you know you're supposed to be leading the way right not to say that women don't know what that is for themselves but in many ways if everybody buys into the mentality that they know the way of course they're blind and lost so it's the blind leading the blind and trying just to get as much pleasure and comfort out of the cluelessness that it truly is. Matters. I'm talking about the things that really matter. For your support as his girlfriend, for your presence in his life, for the love that you have to give to the right man. Don't give that up after just three dates because he gives you butterflies. Be emotionally mature enough to know that you don't know any guy in two or three dates and you're gonna make him work for weeks or months before you consider him commitment material. Number th Oh, amazing, really? Look. Okay, you're gonna make him work to show his worth, right? That he's not just gonna be a guy that, you know, smashes and dashes. But then again, you're opening yourself to that. So this guy could just believe his own lie and ultimately never give you what you want, but you always see the better in him or wanting or see somehow your manipulative ways, you know, ha gaining ground and him doing what you want, essentially, which only creates devastation. And if a woman truly, you know, sees a value in a man, you know, why would she uh, treat it other than what it is and engage accordingly, right? Like what, what it is what is it that a woman needs to, you know, test? Like, do you want to cheat on your boyfriend just to cheat or just to see if he'll stay with you or not to see if he really loved you? I mean, that type of test is absurd, but it's still, it, either you engage in that th thought process or you don't, right? Stick to what is in front of you in plain observative sight and you have discernment and it's by choice that you
experience what you do, you know, every step of the way, and no matter what the uh, situation, it's about overcoming, right? So this love that you say you're going to make the man work for, what are you talking about? The right guy, you know, attracting the right guy that will receive your love. Oh. First of all, a man is going to, you know, to give you his love, meaning that's all a man has to offer. If it's not that, then it's just sex and, and smashing, right? <sighs> Perpetuating the whore culture, whoring around. You know, that goes for, it doesn't discriminate, it goes for anyone engaging in that. Three is don't give him boyfriend benefits until he's your boyfriend. So contrary to popular belief, men love relationships. They love them. But there's a saying, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Now that saying is referring to the milk being the best part. Don't give the best part away for free or they won't take the rest. It's a great saying, it is, it makes sense. But again, everyone thinks it's about sex. It's not about sex. If you think that sex is the best thing you have to offer, you are massively underestimating how much men love relationships and how much you would contribute to a man's life. Uh, the best part- Okay, this guy's telling you, oh no, just, it's not the years of programming and, you know, lying to you, right? No, 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 it's not that. It's just that, you don't understand how much r men love relationships. <laughs> oh, it is about the sex, you fool. Look at him. What, what are you talking about? It is about the sex. You're going to tell me you're going to go into a relationship without sex. <sighs> but that's because it's not something mundane right it's almost like that is what it entails and it's a it's a it's a mutual and glorious outcome as far as what uh, a bond means you know in a man and a woman <coughs> ultimately in the, the life creation So if you're going to say it's not about the sex and then ignore the status of society, you're a fool, right? Because society is totally the governing, right? The influence of what you are doing, thinking, pursuing, yearning, wanting. And yet you sit there and say, no, it's not about the sex. Well, maybe because at a deep fundamental level, we all know that it is profound. Sex is profound, yet somehow it's so uh, superficial nowadays in the sense of, you know, it goes with the feel good, do it mentality, right? Using people at left and right know as long as it's quote unquote consensual right like there's all these people in the dating world all voluntarily <sighs> smashing each other and then uh, you know supposedly growing and developing when the whole time it's about the union that they are staying away from and engaging with in unholy ways, truly, and suffering. And then you have people like this that will tell you how to have men chase you because somehow it's just the way it is. Part of what you can give a man is not sex. Any woman can give him sex. The best part is all the unique benefits he gets by having you as his girlfriend. It's him having your comforting presence to confide in and be vulnerable with when he needs you. It's him having the security. 
Okay, any man that will confide and be vulnerable with his girlfriend is going to be that much more manipulated by his girlfriend. Maybe not then, but <sighs> that is basically a, a dynamic of the lie, right? It's like a candy machine where you keep feeding it money till it runs out. But you're just too programmed, you know, to keep putting your money in it no matter if it keeps giving out or not, right? You're going to treat people like that, right? You're going to be always wanting the so-called best for you, right? And if you always look at it in the exterior, then you're always going to be want the other best, right? <sighs> so he's I mean, men that are in relationships with women that put them through these tests, oh, come on. And safety of knowing you are not out seeing other men and it's him having your support of his girlfriend whenever he Right. There's, the only support needed is alignment with truth, the end. Right. There's a million and one ways to diverge from the path. <sighs> and uh, ultimately it is a man that leads the way spiritually. A man a woman is not attracted to a weak, you know, man, to a spiritually bankrupt man unless she herself is spiritually bankrupt then things like dominance and you know all these bullcrap superficial things will become her measure method of measure wealth and whatnot but he wants it Never underestimate how much men love being in relationships. They love the benefits relationships provide and they will chase hard to get them. But if you give them uh, away for free... That's, you're describing, you know, mommy's boys. If they're going to want just somebody to like, oh, tell them everything's okay and like, oh, you know, come on. I mean... A man basically is going to instruct the way. If not, he's a weak man. And the way means spiritually, you know, I mean, the tools to overcome. To be in true alignment with the life that we have. <sighs> but this guy wants to just feel good. You know, and I'm not saying, of course, you know, it's compassion. Any person that has compassion is at least has that aspect of intelligence. They truly embody compassion, you know. Okay, great. But don't make it seem like it's something that men... truly represent because that you're just describing a mommy's boy somebody that just wants to be supported okay you're supposed to be leading the way to men who aren't your boyfriend you'll get used for them he's not going to make you his girlfriend he's got all the benefits and he can still keep things casual Number four is judge him only on his actions towards you so remember earlier we talked about raising your standards for love most women look at men and they see an attractive guy, so they see how much money he has or what a great job he has or he's tall or he's handsome or he's even a great guy and they decide based on that they want a relationship. But in doing so they've ignored the one ingredient that's most important in the boyfriend mix 
Imagine you saw a chocolate cake and it was the most beautiful, decorated, ice cream, amazing chocolate cake you'd ever seen. And then you went to eat it, only for the chef to tell you, oh, by the way, there's no sugar in that cake. That cake then does nothing for you, no matter how pretty and, and attractive it looks. Women all the time are choosing and chasing men who have done nothing to earn it. They're, they're uh, what? That was the worst. Oh. You have a cake, but it doesn't have any sugar in it. Sugar in it. What? Okay, so it's not going to be sweet. You can still eat it. That's why people end up in these relationships, because they do it anyway. All they care is about that, you know, image that they perceive and therefore pursue. If a man seems attractive, meets the standards to what that woman wants, she's going to go for it. And usually women will, you know, even find it more alluring if the man's, you know, a bit of a arrogant prick or treats them h how they would <sighs> say on different situations that they would not want to be treated or that, you know, when they're describing the ideal relationship, they describe behaviors, you know, opposite. Anyway. Missing the one ingredient that makes the whole cake, and that is how much effort that man has put into you. If you don't believe me, two words. The Bachelor. No one get me started on The Bachelor. It's something I see a lot. Women see a guy that looks the part, The Bachelor, Prince Harry, but whoever they are, if they're not putting time and effort into keeping you, they score zero points as boyfriend material, zero. When you wait until a man has qualified himself as boyfriend material relative to you, rather than just in general, like The Bachelor, you're holding him to a different standard than most women do. He's going to sense that you're not sold on him straight away like every other woman just because of who he is and what he's achieved, and he's going to want to earn you and chase you. And finally, the fifth secret to getting a guy. Oh. So you're basically saying, oh, you know, just because you're a rock star and you're used to getting chicks, if he sees you resist him, he'll want you, you know, or if he sees you, that you're amongst the groupies, but kind of like, you know, shy and kind of playing hard to get, oh, he's going to go for you. And what kind of mentality are you pushing? Oh. First of all, if men and women can't discern, you know, when they're being used, okay, well, that's the end. And that's basically the issue because we are been, we have been trained under abuse, societal abuse, and therefore we can't speak out against it. We just have to create narratives like this to navigate through the BS. <sighs> Instead of looking at, hey, listen, uh, this is how I see life, and I'm attracted to you. Do you want to be under the umbrella of this covenant? Right? The majority of women will laugh and walk away. But fine. Unless you want to compromise and do as thou wilt through emotion and cater to pleasures and desires and comfort. <sighs> Euphoria. Right? And let women manipulate you. Right? Treat you like a little... Like have a mom son relationship with her and further abuse yourself guy to chase you is be willing to walk if he drops the ball and this is again where having a high quality life makes things so much easier because if you are dating prince harry and you don't have much of a life to go back to you're going to let him get away with things because you don't want to go back to being single and it doesn't seem as appealing. Your life with him is a lot more attractive than your life without him. But when you have that high quality life, when you're working on it and building it all the time, no matter how in love with that person you are, if that person messes up, if they abuse you, if they take you for granted, if they stop acting like the boyfriend that they should, as much as it would pain you, you're still willing to put your self-respect first and go back to your single life if that's what it takes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm
So, of course, he didn't talk about why it is that they reached that point. Um, having the courage to walk away, obviously. And usually it takes a long time for people to recognize, whether it's a man or a woman. But it's true, this guy says that women will fear entertaining a life that might be a long term, you know, scenario here, you know, five, seven, 13 years with a guy, and all of a sudden, you know, find themselves uh, splitting from them. I mean, it just didn't happen. But also, what does that mean, right? Because you have to face certain truths, the truth, right? And your responsibility in it and objectively seeing your place, right? According to, you know, your everything. Your maturity, your wisdom, um, your vigor, your essence, your life, everything. So if a man, if you can't discern if a man exudes or provides that or embodies that, then you don't know what you're doing and you're just setting yourself up to abuse yourself. I'm sure you can tell how much I love this topic. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. Let me know if this is... Yeah, this is you love to smash. Okay. 